carry an ash. be the first shot today. <laughs> yeah, that run up, huh? Was, yeah, uh, and then my spikes were not long enough. They were a little midget little guys, and I, I needed longer. <laughs> Uh, you kind of got off to a good start. It was in the mud. Uh, Evie had a great start. You know, yeah, what, what was yeah. the beginning of the race like for you? Uh, I, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get ahead because I knew it was going to be messy and uh, kind of people making mistakes, including me. So <laughs> I wanted to keep an eye on the on the leaders. And uh, yeah, I mean, those young girls, they start really fast. So every time I'm up there in contention, it's a good start. So. Uh, these seemed like Katarina Nash conditions. You have so much experience. Were you excited? when you kind of saw what was going to be happening? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always like these kind of conditions. I mean, it's uh, it's it's sort of unknown because it's early in the season and not that many people have ridden in the mud, obviously. But I guess kind of that patience and kind of skill set, it comes back to me pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I was able to manage it pretty well, but made a bunch of mistakes anyway. <laughs> There were spots where you were opening up bigger gaps. There were definitely spots like this big climb where Evie was pulling closer. You know, how did you minimize the damage on some parts and maximize your advantage on others? Yeah, I was just trying to trying to not make mistakes, which okay. is just difficult, really right. difficult. But you know, you just even if you do make a mistake, you just have to calm yourself down and ride it better right. the next time. So yeah, it was a fun balance of. Uh, you know, just not making mistakes and pushing where you can push, which yeah. is the hills and straightaways and the running and stuff like that. So. Things changed a lot, you know, even on like Trek Factory Hill, you rode it, I think, the first lap and it changed. What did it take to make those adaptations during the race? Well, it's kind of, that's that's what cyclocross is all about, right? You're yeah. kind of making decisions on the go and like one line worked really well lap before, you just <laughs> nailed it and the next lap you're like, damn it, I didn't do this one right so it's uh yeah just like just like i said like it's managing that uh you know like that expectation of everything going well and just sort of uh like recovering from those little mistakes and just keep on going <laughs> i i'm guessing you heard the announcers but yolanda moved up into second in that last lap what yeah was... it's super and impressive then... <laughs> i we chatted at the at the podium and i was definitely dude i'm so glad it wasn't any longer and she's like i'm so sad it wasn't any longer because she would definitely you know if we did another lap she would probably move up but uh yeah she you know th didn't have the great start that i did <laughs> so <laughs> And then finally, we got to chat quite a few times. What was your Jingle Cross and Waterloo experience like? It seems like it was a... I, I really like what the, you know, it, so thankful to have the US World Cups for sure. You know, I mean, I still, I still have to get on at least two flights to get to either one of them, but it's so much uh, easier than traveling to Europe. And uh, yeah, I was really quite sure if I was gonna make it this summer, uh, but then, uh, I just want to support it, you know. I think those guys are doing an amazing job. Obviously, both the uh, both the races have done such a good job, and uh, yeah, I want I wanted to be part of it. I hope it keeps going, and uh, yeah, always psyched to psyched to be part of the U.S. cross racing. So hopefully, uh, in Bern, we'll see you with that uh, leader's jersey with some cliff tattoos to like your friend. Yeah, Megley. exactly. Yeah, I gotta talk to Mags and find out where she got all those tattoos and. You know, or just like I have a clip bar hanging out of my mouth or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Uh, Katerina Nash, always a pleasure to watch you race bikes in the mud. Congrats. Thanks for cheering. <laughs> Thank you.